Hey friends. So the only way that I have found um, to actually have an impact online, to um, spread whatever gift you have to offer to the internet, um, is to be authentic, is to be yourself. And what I mean by that is to not just put on your uh, teacher mask and always just share information like knowledge you've gained, um, but to actually let people online see who you are. Um, to polarize, to be like, this is who I am. Not everyone's going to like that, um, but some people are going to love it. Um, and I know how scary this can be. And recently I've talked to a lot of people after the three clients in 30 days workshop. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who are in the process of becoming more visible, of showing themselves. And um, this question came up like, David, how did you overcome the fear of showing yourself online? Um, I've shared like music online. I've live streamed some of my music. I've shared super weird videos of myself. Um, and if you're someone who's just getting started, just hear me out. Cause I think it's going to help you actually, um, take those first steps. So first of all, I'm still excited when I do this now, right now it's much more of like, wow, what a joy it is to just um, be here. Like it's not an uncomfortable excitement. Um, but when I started four years ago, something like that, I was terrified to death by creating videos because videos are much more vulnerable in my experience than text. Um, and it just came to the point where I tried a couple of times to like create a video, post it online, um, and I didn't do it. And the pain of that <laughs> at some point just became so unbearable that I was like, however painful it is to actually post a video, I'm pretty sure is going to be less than what I'm experiencing right now. Um, so then I just did it. And the biggest fear that people have um, when they show themselves online is, um, you know, to get hate comments to, you know, people judging you. And the what usually happens is just that no one responds. And that can be a challenge um, as well to be like, whoa, I created this video and I put my heart into it and no one responds. Um, but there is a kind of upside to it, which is people care less and think less about you than you might think. Like you think about yourself much more than anyone else ever will. And so um, most of the worries that you have of what other people think are quite irrelevant because most people just don't think about you, right? Like they see, oh, David's doing a video. Cool. I don't care. So um, don't worry too much about getting hate comments. Um, and now to make it a bit more practical, um, two things that I want to share that have helped me immensely, um, especially this one piece is connect to people who are in the process of doing the same thing. Connect to people who have done this before, who have showed themselves before online. Why? Because they know that the most challenging thing is just to create their fucking video. It like they will applaud you just for the fact that you've uploaded the video. That's going to matter much more than how eloquent you're speaking, how many us you're putting in, how nervous you are. It doesn't matter. Like you've done it and they're going to be able to reflect back to you. Like that's amazing. It takes so much courage to do this. Um, and so, connect to people who are in the same process. Um, and the second thing is this fear that you will face um, in the process of when you want to share something, the only way that you can overcome it is by doing it. Like there's, you, you cannot just process and slow down and feel this can help, but ultimately you will just have to do it. And 
it might be that it's going to be terrifying the first couple of times. It definitely was for me. It was like I was so exhausted after just creating a single video because it's just so it was so far out of my comfort zone. But over time, the comfort zone grows and um, and you'll be just fine. So if you're someone who's thinking about I want to share my work, my workshops, my one on one work, whatever it is online, just start doing it. Just start um, creating videos and probably you're going to get very few responses in the beginning. And that's fine. That's, maybe it's even a good thing because um, you can slowly get better. And as you get better, maybe more people will uh, start paying attention. All right. So I'm cheering for you. I know how challenging this can be to take those first steps. Breathe. Show yourself. It's a lot of fun. And sending you much love from snowy Austria. Ciao, ciao.